Well, greetings to you all. Christelle Bell here, former news anchor for WMBF News in Myrtle Beach. I am forever a member of the Horry County community, and I sorely regret that I could not stand in your presence today. But I am grateful to the Lord that I have this opportunity to share just a few words with you about the man who I truly admired, Mr. Benny made a huge impact in my life. I loved him so much. He was just an awesome father figure, a remarkable leader, a passionate activist, and we all know a very fluid talker. Yes, I, it's just one of the things that I loved about him, uh, just how much he talked. There were many events where I emceed with him and I often had to just reel him back in because he would go off the deep and get carried away. But to hear him speak and to give gratitude to others and their work in the community was just a testament of how dedicated and avid he was for positive change. He made me a better journalist. Watching his persistent work, he unknowingly pushed me to cover the stories that were purposeful and impactful. He made me a better person. His drive was constantly a reminder to myself to ask, what am I doing? Am I doing enough? What needs to be done? I would tell him, call me if you need me, and you best believe he did. He called me, and it was a given. He needed me. I was there. I'm always grateful to the fact that he chose me, and I'm grateful to the Lord that he asked me to walk alongside him, and I'm grateful that he entrusted me to walk with him and that he pressed to inspire change, um, promote diversity, and share love and inclusion. He loved the community, he loved people, and you heard it every time he spoke. His work and ideas were unprecedented. And I think our last encounter, he called me and he said, Christelle, we, we really need to bring attention to how COVID-19 is affecting the black community. And he said, I wanted you, I want, I want you to do something. I want you to do a story. I trust you to handle this story because you're gonna handle it with the care and urgency that it needs. And I remember how I felt when I heard him say, I trust you, I trust you to do right, to do right by the community. Those words coming from Mr. Benny just carried so much depth. And then when I covered those stories, he called me back and he just uttered just sincere gratitude. And I was so proud that I made him proud. He never missed a moment to express to my husband, Stephen Bird, many of you know, and myself, how proud he was to have us serving in the community. Mr. Benny will be sorely missed, but I believe his legacy will live on by the so many lives that he touched and with the help of the Lord, he has laid a firm foundation and has provided the blueprint to continue building, and his work will carry on in Horry County. Hebrews 3 and 2 says, he was faithful to the one who appointed him. And the scripture goes on to say Moses was faithful as a servant in all God's house, bearing witness to what would be spoken by God in the future. Mr. Benny was a servant, and it was and it is my consistent prayer because of his faithfulness the community will continue to thrive and reap the blessings of his great work to mrs marcella Brittany, and the entire swans family may god continue to wrap his loving arms around you and give you comfort and strength during this time to myrtle beach and Horry county i send my love and my thoughts and my prayers to you i love you all god bless